Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to explore the life and art of the renowned American artist, Edward Hopper. Born in 1882, Hopper's experiences and influences heavily shaped his iconic works of art. During his early years, Hopper spent time as a commercial illustrator, immersing himself in the vibrant world of advertising. This exposure to everyday life and the people around him greatly impacted his artistic style. You can see this in his painting The L Station from 1908, which captures the bustling energy of a train station with bold and vivid brushstrokes. In the earlier years of his career, Hopper traveled to Europe, where he further developed his artistic sensibilities. It was during this time that he created works such as Apre Midi de Juin and Le Pont des Arts in 1907. These pieces reflect the influence of French Impressionism, with their emphasis on capturing light and atmosphere. Hopper's interests and experiences were not limited to bustling cities alone. He also found inspiration in natural settings, as shown in his piece Man on Log, Watercolor and Ink, from 1906 to 1914. Here, we see his ability to capture the serenity and solitude of nature with delicate and intricate brushwork. Self-reflection was a recurring theme in Hopper's work, as seen in his self-portraits. His painting Self-Portrait II from 1903 reflects the introspective nature of the artist, while Self-Portrait from the same year showcases his talent for capturing emotion through the human form. It's worth noting that Hopper also explored various genres and subjects in his art. Works such as Painting Class from 1903 to 1906 illustrate his interest in the artistic process itself, while Artist's Bedroom, Nyack from 1905 shows his ability to depict interior spaces with great attention to detail. Some of Hopper's works also showcase his fascination with urban architecture. Take, for example, Stairway at 48 Rue de Lille Paris from 1906, which highlights his mastery of perspective and the interplay between light and shadow. Finally, we cannot forget Hopper's early still-life pieces, such as Still Life from 1899. These works display his keen observation skills, attention to detail, and ability to breathe life into seemingly ordinary objects.